the calculation of profits and losses, recording of debtors and creditors. I'm quite sure some of us get, I've got people who probably took the pancake on credit, promising to pay the following day, or as you went to buy your flour for making your chapati, you took it on credit. So we need to keep all those records. Okay, let's move on. Unless there's a question, but I think it is okay. Okay, so my next question is, let's stop it in math. Do we think aids in this area of business calculations or calculations related to business? There is a hand up by Ahumza. Yes. yes. Business mathematics. Good. Business mathematics. Anyone with a different one? Asime also goes ahead to say in the chat, Asime Renet, business mathematics. Uh -huh. Is there any other contradicting topic they've mentioned? Not yet. Not yet. I think we can go ahead. So Could we hear we from... Also... Okay. Oh, I've, I've continued. Okay. So we're also brilliant to come up with that topic. So that is this is the topic we are beginning today. Of course, it is a wide topic, but even a journey of a thousand miles starts with step one. So we are beginning business math today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kajimu, let them tell us what they understand by the term business math. They may explain the, in their own words, what does business math ring, bring to their mind? Uh, we have some two hands up. Uh, there's Chemtai who wants to explain. Chemtai, please go ahead and explain what you understand by the term business mathematics. I think business mathematics means the, the, the part in business where you want to use the mathematics concepts. Okay, part in business where we you employ mathematics concepts. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kadu, uh, try to be gender balanced if they are. Thank you, Chemtai. I had Masi, uh -huh. but I don't see her hand up. Masi, may you please say what you wanted to say, Masi? When, when I hear business math, it's where profit and loss in a business is compared. Okay. For her, once she sees business math, what rings in her head is profit and loss. Good. I saw Tendo. Matthew? When I hear business mathematics, it is a transaction made using the mathematic concepts or calculations. Okay, a transaction. So when you talk of transaction, there is business behind transaction and therefore it is employing um, mathematic concept. Anything in the chat that we may want to pick, Mr. Kajimu, before we continue? There is Aksam. Aksam says it's a branch of mathematics that deals with business concepts such as laws, profits, and others. Very good. Uh -huh. There is uh, Asime Linet who says dealing with the money in terms of profits, losses, simple interest, commission. Wow. Uh -huh. Any other? Nalulin, yes. who says it is a topic in mathematics used by businessmen to calculate losses, profits, discounts, ETC. Wow. Very good. We are and all correct. NASA, uh -huh. And the NASA is saying it is a branch. I think it is a branch of math. It's a branch dealing in money. <laughs> okay, branch of math dealing with money. We are all right in our own definitions or understanding. Let me give my own understanding here. But like I've mentioned, we are all right. It's a wide branch of math that deals with. Um, 
So the definition you see in there is not casting a stone, really. I just wanted to give an idea. So it is the math used by commercial enterprises to record and manage business operations. So the recording and managing encompasses all that we've mentioned, the profit, the loss, the interest, the compound interest, the simple interest. I've summarized them in recording and managing the business operations. Mr. Fajima, I don't know whether there are any questions. Uh, can if we take the any... questions at this? Uh, if there are any questions, please. Madam Javira, we don't have yet. Okay, now I, I didn't mention this in the beginning, but I want I want students, I want us to practice journaling, what we call writing, jotting down. Eh? You may not wait for the teacher to tell you now write this, now write that. So as, as the lesson is progressing, pick the key concepts you feel are important for you to understand that topic. That is something I just, I just wanted us to know. As we progress, keep jotting down what you think is important and jot it the way you understand it. Because as you go back, you'll understand it better. Okay, we are... Okay, You've, they had mentioned some branches, maybe they could echo them here. The branches of business math that you have ever heard of or studied about. What is happening to the members? To the members uh, other than Chemtai, other than Ahumuza, other than, um, I'm hearing common names, other than Christine, the rest, at least type in the chat. Okay, in the chat, Madam Javi? Yes. We have profit and loss. Good. Uh, of course, there's loss. Mm -hmm. Aksam says commission. Uh -huh. Chemtai says profit. Yes. Uh, uh, profit, losses, and many others. I'm seeing someone with their hand up. Dirun's Sharon by Gap, please go ahead. Commission. Commission, I think I had her saying commission. Thank you, Sharon. Uh, Madam Any... Javi, we can, yes, we can also hear can... from... Okay, there's a... No? no? We can also hear from... Christabella Obopis, please go ahead and give us any branch that you think you have you think of. Christabella. Christabella okay. is showing away. There is Matthew Tendo. Taxation. Taxation, very good. Is there any new? Any new branch that has been captured in the chat, Mr. Kajun? Let me check. Let me check. There is discounts, there is taxation, compound interest, uh -huh. appreciation by Chimtai, uh -huh. currency by NASA. Okay. Exchange rates, Nalin. Yes. Appreciation. Okay. Okay, I think they've captured most of them. Thank you for sharing. So I'm also going to share. So they are not, these are not the only ones. I simply not those, these are the ones that would fit on my screen actually. And they are not in any particular order. But usually we begin with the simple. Interest, then we go to, actually, they begin with profit and loss, discount, around senior one. And then later, as we move on, we keep, we keep upgrading simple, compound interest, insurance. By the time we are through with senior four, these last three, appreciation, depreciation, taxation, mortgage, all those come as uh, in the senior four package of business math. Okay, Mr. Kajimu, I'm handing over the reins to you at this point. 
Uh, thank you very much, Madam Javira. Uh, we now have a scenario. We maybe we could get someone to read for us. Eh? Yes, we have um, a situation that is happening in our day to day life. And uh, as it has been put on our screens, can we get someone and read? Can someone read for us what it is? Axon. The, the government has just announced another 42 days of lockdown. You think of a business plan and what comes to your mind is the party making. You draw up a budget of your startup capital, totaling up to about 90,000 shillings. Your guardian is willing to give you the capital on condition that at the end of one month, you pay back 100 shillings. Thank you very much, Aksam. Uh, I hope everyone has tried to go through and also move with Aksam as he read for us. So our main, can you pick for me uh, what you take to be main in this uh, uh, case of ours? What are those things that you capture that uh, get your eye? Uh, do we have anyone, Madam Javi? I'm, I'm seeing Aksam. Aksam, go ahead. Uh, I'm seeing capital and the, the amount of money you're supposed to pay back after the business has succeeded. Okay. Like at the end of one month. Thank you very much. Those, those are the things that he captures, as the others also go ahead to capture. There are these simple questions that I would want us to answer. Jim, before we continue, Chemtai has her hand up. Though Mr. Kajmu, someone has mentioned that you increased on your volume as well. Okay. Hmm. Chemtai, go ahead. For me, I see that there is some interest going to be given. Hmm. Okay. Chemtai has okay. a third eye. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mtai. As Can we I also, proceed? as we capture those ones, I want us to answer these simple questions. Madam, please proceed. Okay, the first question as it goes, how much extra money will you have to pay back? I want to think that you still remember how much money, how much extra money will you have to pay back? Alvin? 10,000. 10,000, thank you very much, Alvin. Is there any other, any other contribution from someone else? In the chat from Cynthia. Christopher and Chemtai, they've all put 10,000. Thank you very much, all of you. Can we also have someone else who is looking at it from their angle? Arthur Shalom, what do you think? Um, Christopher has mentioned profit. Um, okay, in that chat. You, Christopher. So, so we are saying, how much extra money will you have to pay back? Okay, thank you for the 10K. Madam Javi, can you, can we continue? Maybe, maybe um, Mr. Kadim, just for the sake of those who may not know where the 10K came, you can just talk about it. Oh, we give one of the students. Uh, we can give someone who said 10K to help us uh, explain how they got there. Cynthia. Officer Cynthia, I think you typed 
10K in the chat. Could you open your microphone and tell us how you arrived at that 10K? Um, since, since he gave the person 90,000 and he expects back 10,000, I mean 100,000. So we subtract the 100 from the 90,000 and get 10,000. The other way around, the 90 from 10, 100. Thank you very much, Cynthia. So for those who may not have known where it came from, there you have it. Okay, our next question. I hope you're journaling. Is not not just down. What um, name can we give to that extra money? Uh, we have just been told that there is extra money. Someone has just helped us to find that extra money. What name can we give to that extra Nalu, money? Lynn has her hand up. Please con go ahead. Simple interest. Thank you, Nari. Simple interest. Thank you. Sarah. Sarah, please go ahead and say what you wanted to say. I had the same like simple interest. Thank you very much. Now in the chat, I'm seeing some Jonah, Chemtai, Virunji, they are calling it profit. Okay. Hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. Someone said simple interest. Someone else is saying profit. Profit, yes. So what should we do? What is it? Sarah, once let, again. Mm -hmm. Let Sarah them explain. Again. Whoever says interest, they tell us why they call it interest. And those that say profit also tell us. Sarah said interest. Why did you call it interest? I can see from Alvin Naigaga. Naigaga, can you speak to us? Why are you calling it interest? In my opinion, I think it is interest because it is not the owner of the business getting it. Profit is got by the owner of the business. So why I'm calling it interest? It's because he's giving back to his parents. So like this is the amount they gave, like they gave him 90, but he's giving them a hundred. So now this 10 is an interest. It's just like the parents gave him capital. It's just like when you go to, a, to the bank for a loan, you have to pay interest to them, like more money to them after that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Alvin, can we have someone uh, who is There's saying- There's Sharon. Uh, Sharon said profit. She typed in the chat. By Gasharan. Okay, uh, we have uh, Sarah back. I had given her a chance. Okay. Uh, Tendo, you will come after Sarah. So Sarah, can you uh, tell us why you say the simple interest? I think it's simple interest because it's not out of your own money. It's like you have to pay back the money, but the one which you gain is the one which is interest and you take back the, the other original money to the person you got it. Okay, thank you very much. Is there any other interest apart from simple, from simple interest and the why particular simple interest? Those are questions uh, just to think about. And is there any other interest apart from simple interest? And why are you calling this one particularly simple interest? There's Think someone about that. in the chat, uh, maybe. Chemtai is saying, I say profit because the giver had 90K, but now we'll have 100K. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Was that Chemtai? Yes. And uh, Chemtai, is it the giver? Uh, oh. You are saying in that in terms giver, of the giver, yes, the guardian. The giver he gave make, 90 now is getting a hundred. <laughs> he's making a profit. Yes. <laughs> I like that. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. Okay. Can we go with Matthew Tendo and hear what Matthew is saying? So for me, I'm calling it interest because the 
the guardian gives him or her the guardian gives him or her uh, an investment so the guardian invests in his business so as to attain a profit of 10k okay so what did you call it Matthew I call it interest okay thank you very much Matthew uh, now when you look at it the way you have put it is that if, when you when you borrow uh, when the guardian lends us then we we pay what we are calling interest so on any amount that you borrow uh, on paying back that is what we are calling interest someone put it in their words and i don't want to go so much to it that the other one will have made a profit but can we look at it in the uh, in the line of the one who has borrowed the money thank you very much madam javi can we move on uh, can i have someone to read for us can i have someone to read for us the third bullet Express the extra amount as a percentage of the original amount. Thank you very much. Express the extra amount as a percentage of the original amount. I'm giving you a minute to express it, and I'm waiting for answers. Please let's mute. Let's mute. We are getting Rebecca. Whoever has the account of Rebecca, kindly mute. We are getting interference from your bathroom. So we are giving you two minutes. Remember, I told you you need to have a notebook where you're journaling. Do that calculation very fast and get back to us. Uh, may we start receiving answers? I want to think that uh, the two minutes that we are we have given mm -hmm. is one hand up, but let me wait. Let me okay. wait. <laughs> uh, give chance also to others to finish. We have uh, one hand up by Matthew Tendo. I want to see uh, the hand of, the hand up of uh, Birunji. I want to see another person. Asa Shalom. Anna Debbie, we are seeing you, but we are not hearing your voices. I want we want to hear from you. Okay, should we go ahead? I think let's uh, go ahead have... with Arthur. I mean with Matthew. Okay. Hmm. Matthew, 11, 11.1. 11.1%. 11 11 okay, I'm seeing some much. other participants before we comment on others. There's another hand up. Yes, Birunji, thank you for responding. 11.1. Okay, Virunji also has 11.1. I'm seeing some answer in the chat. 11.1 from Christopher, from Sarah. Christopher, okay, from can Sarah. we have someone? Okay, can uh, we have someone volunteer? Uh, to volunteer. volunteer. <laughs> Explain to us how they got the 11.1%. I'm seeing Mercy, a new name that has not been putting their hand up. Mercy, go ahead. The, the extra amount they are asking for, it is mm -hmm. a simple interest. And our simple interest was 10,000. So mm -hmm. 
and the original money, which was the capital, was 10,000. So we get that it was 90, sorry. We get that 10,000 divided by 90,000 times 100. And the answer is 11.1%. I'm trying to write in my poor handwriting here. <laughs> so Nancy is saying, just for everyone to follow, those who may not know how we are getting the 11.1. Okay. There we have it, 10,000 divided by 90,000 times 100, and we are getting the answer of 11.1. Uh, Thank you very much, okay. Madam Javi. I can also see Birunji. Uh, writing uh, the 10,000 uh, out of the 90, giving us that percentage. Madam Javi, can we move on? Uh, Next bullet. Okay. Okay. Uh, can we have someone read for us the next uh, question? Can we have someone read for us the next question? Yes, Aksam. What else can we give to the percentage that you noted above? Thank you very much. What name can we give to the percentage calculated above? What I'll be name? giving. Can you put up your hand so that we give I'll, you a chance? Use a hand up, please. I'll be giving 10,000 extra money and it will be regarded as interest. Okay. Praise. Uh, next time, please use a hand up so that we, we are orderly. Uh, thank you very much. Chai, you have also unmuted. You want to say something? Say it and mute. No. Okay. I'm seeing. Red. I'm seeing in the. Yes, Madam Javi. Um, percentage profit from Tendo. Then Chemtai has typed rate. Nalule Lin is saying rate. Uh, and we can... have Aksam also. Aksam, say what you want to say. Uh, it is the simple interest rate. It is the? Uh, Madam Jalfi, can you, uh, did you hear Aksam? I'm afraid to catch I, him. I didn't pick Aksam's, I, I could not pick him. Okay, I'm also afraid but to. But just to, to answer someone in the chat here, they're saying, excuse, Madam, may you record your lesson? Yes, the lesson is being recorded. We shall request the organizers probably to share it on your WhatsApp group. Okay, okay. thank you very much. Mm -hmm. uh, the name that we give to the percentage, uh, that is the rate. The rate at which uh, someone is borrowing. So that percentage is what we call the rate. The rate at which you borrow. So when you go to borrow, when someone borrows, uh, they borrow at a certain interest rate, if I add that word. And that is yes. what we are getting here as 11.1. Thank you very much, everyone. That is what we have. Madam Javi, can we have the next bullet? Yes. Remember, uh, someone borrowed 90,000 shillings. And we are saying, what do we call it? What is the special name? I can see from uh, the chat, mm -hmm. Madam Jaffe. Um, capital, capital, capital. Oh, but Thank we you. have capital as their answer. But Thank I've seen Aksam with his hand up. 
and uh, I think putting it down means he wants also to he say. He also wanted to say capital. Capital. There's but Hamza else. Uh -huh. There's someone, Hamza, with principal amount. That is what he has typed in the chat. Thank you, uh, Hamza. <laughs> uh, can we have someone explain to us what they think? Their answer, why they call it? Uh, Rene, Rene, can you open your mic and tell us why you are calling it so? Someone is just saying in the chat, what if I call it principal? And Rene also wrote principal. Yeah. Why? Why Matthew do you want to call it principal? Can you tell us? The teacher wants you to say something about your answer. Um, when you borrow, like during loans, when you get mm -hmm. a loan, the original amount that you're going to borrow is called up the principal. Yeah. Thank you hey, very that's, much. That's Rin. Thank that, you. Rin. The term, the term is uh, for the original amount that but you borrow. you want to harmonize there, or I continue? Uh, I think uh, she is putting it that the term of the original amount when Mr. we borrow. Kaduma, you the one, the one, so. Madam Javi, you can't hear me because I can hear you. Okay, I wasn't, I think it was my microphone. Should I get the next one? Okay, I had uh, said that uh, that original amount is the principal. That is what Rini says, and we are going to call it principal in this, in our language, the business language, business math language. Uh, go ahead. Has hand up. I don't know whether it's a question or. Okay, Sarah, before Madam Javi goes ahead, but Madam Javi, you can also go ahead as Sarah. Yes, Sarah. It's a question. Go ahead. Like, what's the difference between capital and principal? What is the difference between capital and the principal? Uh, I want to, 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 to answer the capital from a, 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 a view, from a line, from an angle that uh, the capital is, yes, the amount that we have invested. So when we look at it in that form, that this amount is what we have invested, it is very correct for us to call it the capital. But we are saying from the angle of business mathematics, it may not necessarily mean that all the time this amount is invested. But what is very important key here is that we have borrowed this amount. So the amount that we have borrowed is what we are going to term as capital. Okay, I hope uh, that is clear, uh, but if it's not clear, you, we shall still go ahead to labor and explain. The two terms seem to be referring to the same thing in this particular case, but we are saying we are interested in the direction of borrowing and we are looking at if I have borrowed, we shall call it the principal. Uh, clear. Thank you. Can we go on to the next question? Can we go? Obo, Obo, I haven't had your, 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 your voice. Can you read for us the next question? Peace, peace, Obo. Oh. What, what name can be given to the domain paid, by, paid back? Thank you very much, Peace. What name can, can be given to the total money paid back? In other words, our 100,000, what should we call it? In the There's chat, Sarah in Mr. Kajumu, I'm seeing from Aksam amount, from Sarah amount. 
Matthew amount. Alvin amount. Thank you very much, all of you, uh, for calling it so. Can I have someone also here? Put up the hand and tell us. Okay, all of you are saying this is what we should call the amount. And in this language, we shall, we shall leave it. Lokure? Lokure, please mute. Okay. Okay. We shall call it the amount. Madam Javi, uh, do we have is it our last question? I don't know. I think this is our last one, but someone, Christine, I think had dropped off. Christine, we've been looking. We had a scenario. I don't know whether you went off before we put the scenario, but these questions are answering that scenario. So if you're here now, just you've not missed much. Just continue from there. She, she typed in the chat that she had gone off. Okay, okay. so. Thank you very much. Uh, over to you, Madam Javi. Thank you, Mr. Kajima. Flowers for you. Let me give you flowers. Oh, where are my reactions? Okay, I've given you flowers. Thank you very much. Yes. Um, so we are there for introducing our first branch of business math. Remember, we mentioned very many profit loss, but profit loss, we did them in senior one. Discount, we also did it in senior one. And uh, so here we are beginning with simple interest, then we shall progress compound appreciation, all those that were mentioned. And therefore, by the end of the lesson, I think we've gone an hour now. So by the end of the lesson, you should be able to solve problems on simple interest. We've, we've, we've got a scenario that helped us come out with those words, amount, principle, rate, and I'm glad people have an idea. So that is the lesson outcome. So therefore, we've been mentioning these terms, but there's no harm in mentioning them again. Now, more organized, we've been mentioning them from that scenario. So what, time, what terms are associated with simple interest? So you give us the term and probably explain a little about it. Or tell us what you understand by that term. Anyone? Okay, maybe if I could guide the question further from your formula of simple interest that you know. Or if I could still put it in another way, when we are finding the simple interest, what, what terms or what do we need? What values do we need to get to our simple interest? Uh -huh. I'm saying Nangovi, Priyanka, principle, and time. Okay, Christopher, go ahead. Yes, Christopher. Uh, red. The red. Uh, Christopher is breaking on my end, but uh, I think I heard him say red. Uh, red and time. Red and time. Okay, I think I've heard him say red and time. Uh, Madam Javi, Nango yes. is saying principal time and rate. Uh -huh. uh, then uh, uh, from Matthew, the same thing, rate time, principal, principal rate time from AXAM. That is what okay, we have. Okay, I, I need um, someone with a stable network. Christopher was breaking a little. A AXAM, can you tell us more about any of those that you've mentioned? At least for you, I've heard from me, your network is a little. I have Irongi, as Aksam is getting ready. Simple interest equals principal times rate. 
Okay, so Virunji is giving us the formula that uh, simple interest is principal times rate times time. Okay, and I think we had, Mr. Kajma, I think you had exhausted the meanings of those words eh? in the previous, you gave elaborate examples. Aksam, your hand is up, say something. According to me, the principle okay. is the amount of money that uh, has been given to you. Mm -hmm. The amount of money that has been offered to you. Mm -hmm. uh, and the rate is like the percentage at which you're supposed to return the final amount. Mm -hmm. And the time is the period, like the duration in which you're supposed that rate has to count. Okay. Okay, thank you so much, Aksam. I believe many of us agree with him. Let me see something in the chat. Chemtai amount is the money you pay after a given period of time with a certain rate for a certain sum of money you received. Okay. Uh huh. Mr. Kajimo has corrected the spelling for principal. Thank you. Okay. So in simple words, the principal is the amount lent or borrowed, like Aksam has tried to explain. Then the interest is the extra money paid in excess of the principal. So when you're paying back on top of the returning what you're given, whatever extra money you pay back is the principal, I mean the interest. Then in simple calculations, the amount the total amount that you take back at the end is the sum of the principal you borrowed plus the interest you're paying back. And then something to note here is that interest usually is usually calculated as a, as a percentage of the principal amount and also depends on the time of the loan. So it depends on certain, like Virunji mentioned, it depends on the principal, it depends on the rate and the duration for which you're taking the loan. And therefore, the formula for simple interest is there. Maybe something to note that I didn't mention here, time should be in, in years. The time should be in years. Um, can we pick any questions, if any? before we move on. Please, if you want something uh, clarified. Any questions? Yes, Virunji. Well, it should be in years. What, what about Virunji, go ahead. <clears throat> you said time should mm -hmm. be in What about man? Yes. Uh, she's uh, saying that what if the time is in March? Uh -huh. Aha, if the time is month, then we have to convert it to years. Birunji, do you know how to convert months to years? If, for example, I have five months and I want to convert to years. Let me first give Birunji the chance. Birunji, do you know how to express those five months in terms of years? Yes. Uh -huh. How do you do that? Okay. Yes. Okay, for the interest of time, Sarah. Teacher, when everything is in months, do you also have to change to years or you just leave it like that? When everything is in what? Is in months, like they give you, when, it's, when the question has only months, what else can be in months apart from time? Months are units of time. What else can be expressed in terms of months? I don't, Mr. Kajmud, are you getting Sarah's question? Mm -hmm. It is the, I think it is the same thing uh, like the other one put it. Uh, when we are given time in months, uh, what we are, how we are guided here is that the formula uh, is correct if our time is expressed in years. 
So when we take our time in the months, if we take our time in number of hours, if we take our time in other units of time, uh, we shall not use this formula. This formula is not going to give us a correct result. So uh, what we are looking at here is that use the formula. Our principal is an amount of money. So it will be money in any units of um, uh, currency. The rate is, uh, we, we have already seen what the rate is, the rate at which we are borrowing in terms of perc uh, percentage. And we are emphasizing that the time is, should be given in terms of years. That's why uh, teacher Javira is saying, when it is given in months, uh, uh, labor, take a, uh, go an extra step and convert the number of months to years. And actually my question, Mr. Kajim, my question is still pending. I should get someone to tell us how we do that. How do we convert from months to years? Anyone? Yes, Sarah. Sarah, go ahead. Teacher, it's like when they give you a question which has like, let me five say- Five months, for example. Five months. Yes. You just say five out of two, since a year has five months. Very, very good, Sarah. That was a brilliant answer. I'm seeing some hands up, apart from Matthew. Sarah. Who's, who else has that? Matthew Tendo. Okay. By dividing the specific number of months by 12. Why 12? They are the num number of months in a full year. Aha, uh -huh, very good, Matthew and, uh, and Sarah. So Chimta, whoever was Chimta asking- in the chats, Madam Javi yes. has also put five out of 12. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Chemtai. So for those who are wondering how we do it, we divide the number of months, divide by 12, because a year has 12 months. Okay, I don't know whether there is any other question. That was someone who posed the question that if it is in months, what do we do? And we explain that exercise. I'm seeing a chat, anything new in the chat? Teacher, what is rate? Someone is asking, what is rate? The, the rate is the percentage. If, if I could put it in simple terms, the rate is the percentage that you pay back as interest. So it is calculated given a, a given percentage. It could be 5%, it could be 12%, depending on the bank. So the rate is, what percentage of the principal are you taking back? Thank you, Madam Javi. And actually, uh, if, uh, if you were following, at a certain time, we obtained the rate. When we were faced with the scenario, the queries that came in were, can you uh, convert this uh, in terms of uh, percentage, what percentage is it of the of the original amount? And we obtained the rate. So that is what the rate is. I think there are no more questions. Thank you, Mr. Kajimo. I think I can proceed. So now we are going to our examples. Now, um, I want us to, to now use what I mentioned earlier, the Padlet. Let me first stop sharing. And then maybe I'll talk briefly about it. Um, I hadn't shared it. Let me share the public so that you see what there could be new people here. 
So what you're seeing there is what we call the Padlet Senior 3 Holistic E-Learning Platform. Each class has its own Padlet. And as you can see, it has the topics at least so far that are being handled under help. Now being mad. Madam Javira. Yes. Uh, we are not seeing. I thought I had shared it. <laughs> okay, let me try to share. Hey, okay, sorry. There, I think it's there now. Yes. Okay, good. So like I mentioned, um, all the classes, so far senior one, two, three, and the help platform have a Padlet. This is your Padlet, the S3 Padlet. And as you can notice, it has all the subjects in, should I say the same, under the same page? I think that is why it's one big pad with small pads. I think that's why they call it Padlets. I'm just thinking about the name. Now, since we are for math, um, the questions we are going to, to handle, we shall be giving you some few minutes to work out. We want you to also practice, to learn. Apart from math, we need you to learn some more ICT skills. So if you're seeing the plus sign here, first of all, you should have, if you've not yet registered, you'll find time outside of this lesson to register. Otherwise, when you post your work when you've not registered, we view you as anonymous. Just like you see down here, someone anonymous posted the link here. So when in your free time, you can go to padlet.com, open the page and then sign up. So that anytime you're posting work on the Padlet, then we see your name. We know that it is Matthew or it is Christine or it is Rona, whoever it is. So you'll come to the positive sign here. So when you click on the plus, it brings this interface. And then um, either you want to take a photo or I assume you'll have taken the photo already and you want to upload. So as you can see here, when you click on the three dots, then it brings all these options. Whether you're uploading or you're using the camera. Okay, for this case, I, uh, I imagine we shall upload. These two will work, the upload and probably the camera. Then when you click on that, let's say it is uh, an upload, then you get to where your upload is. Or if it's the camera, then you, you, you start the camera and then You, 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 you take the picture of the work, then after that you upload. So I'm just trying to, to introduce us for those who may not know what the Padlet is, because the next work, we are going to encourage you to post on the Padlet. Any questions before yes. I leave the Padlet? Any questions? Uh, Madam Javira? Yes. Yeah, Madam, you're not back. Okay. I was not what? Mr. Kajima, I didn't pick that question. I also didn't pick it. I interfered, I think, with it. Uh, uh, there is a link. Alvin, Alvin has posted the link to the Padlet uh, in our chats. Thank you, Alvin. So you can tap on the link and you will go direct to the Padlet. Well, he has helped. Thank you very much, Alvin. That is good teamwork. Alvin okay, I don't know that there are any other questions. I, I think these people know how to do it. They are the common people on the platform. So I'm going to step share, stop sharing here. Then we begin on our math work. So back to our questions. Okay, that is number one. We are required to find a simple interest on 25,000 shillings for three years at a rate of eight percent per annum. Okay, maybe being an example, let me let me do this one. Let me do that. I think Mr. Kajmi, let's do that. We have some time. We can do okay. the examples, then we shall give them 
the remaining time to try the exercise. I have some exercise for them. But I can get someone to guide me. What do I do? Put up your hand and tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. Axam. Axam's hand is up. Uh, we, we shall get the principal, which is the 25,000. Uh -huh, good. So and he's taking out the principal, 25,000. Yes. And multiply it by the rate, which is. Axam, can you get near your microphone? Okay. Uh huh. Okay, much by the rate. Okay, by the rate. Which is eight out of one hundred. Yes. Then times the time, which is three years. Okay, let me do. I already did this. So this is what um, Axam has been telling us. We get the principal multiply by the rate. And let's rate out of a hundred because it is a percentage. So the hundred is not from heaven, it is eight percent or eight out of a hundred, then times the time. And when we substitute, we get six thousand. Okay. Now I've okay, that is our number two. I hope you people are journaling. Madam Gav, you can have someone read for us, number two. Yes. Arthur Shalom, if she is there, I don't know whether Arthur Shalom is a he. Maybe. Yeah, it's a he actually. <laughs> yeah. He's usually active, but today he's very quiet. Um, Arthur, yeah. can you please go ahead and read for us? Find the amount to which the 80,000 shillings accumulates in nine months at a simple interest rate of 15% per annum. Thank you very much, Arthur. So in other words, what are we looking for? Um, the amount of money he gets when he, after the nine months, Okay. when you've also added the interest to the money, to the principal. Okay, thank you. Are you ready to take us through the question? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I annotate. Okay. Can you do that? Mm, Why are you given the rights? No. You can't. Okay, just tell me. Let me explain. So mm. we might we we are only finding the amount. We have to first yes. find the simple interest. So the simple interest is going to be multiplied as principal times uh Rate times, okay, amount is, princi is principal times plus interest. So mm -hmm. now when you're finding the interest, you say principal times mm -hmm. rate times time. Mm -hmm. So now we have 80,000 times 15% times mm -hmm. nine out of 12 since they said per annum. Very good. Mm -hmm. So when we are calculating this, we shall get, let me see, 80,000. Okay, we shall get 89,000. Mm. No, no, sorry. Um, yes. 9,000. Okay, and then 9, when you get 9,000. Mm. Pardon? Continue. So when we get 9,000, we add it to the 80,000. Mm. And then we get 89,000. Thank you. Unfortunately, I, 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 um, my, my finger hit on the button before you could complete. But the 80,000 here is our principal. I stands for interest, which has elaborately mentioned, which is principal times the rate, 15 out of 100 times nine out of 12, because they mentioned nine months. So we have to convert it to years. This bracket here gets to all, simplifies to 9,000. And when we add it to 80, we get our 89. Thank you so much, Arthur. Okay. At least today I've had your voice. I was wondering what was happening. There we have our number three. Can have someone who's to read through. Mm 
Sarah. Find how long will, will it take for a sum of 80,000 shillings to yield an interest of 12,000 at a rate of 5% per annum simple interest. Okay, sorry, that was a typo. It should be find how long it will take okay. mm -hmm. yeah. for some of 80,000 to yield an interest of 12 at a rate of five. So what are we required to find this time? Anyone, not specifically, Sarah? I, no? I think we are looking for time. Uh -huh. We are looking for time. So how do we go about this question? What does the 80 stand for? By the way, I didn't, I didn't have space here, but it is good practice for you to, to, to pick values from the number and first write them down. So what does 80 stand for? Which letter do we give 80,000 of the letters we use in the formula? I think it's principle. Principle. So you jot down P is eighty thousand. Mm -hmm. What what letter do we give the twelve thousand? Simple interest S one. Uh huh. Simple interest. Some people simply use I or S I. Uh huh. Then the rate, of course, is the R. Yes, Christopher. Christopher, your hand is up. Christopher. Probably the problem is put it there. I think it's not what I said. Julian Kasuti has opened. I don't know whether mm -hmm. that's Julian, the tell us what to do. So I've just actually just opened. I don't know what's taking place. You've just joined us. Yes. Okay, you're welcome. Who has been here and would love to take us through this number? Probably people are trying it out. I hope that is the case. They are quickly trying it out before they, they tell me what to do here. Mm -hmm. Anyone? Okay, Aksam. So, Madam, we are going to get the definition of simple interest is principal okay. mm. times the time out okay. of 100. I've put it there. We find the simple interest to be 12,000. No, mm. actually, you have to be 12,000. Yes. So in other words, we substitute for what we have. And then we shall take the so I, I chose to begin from this side of the equation because my unwanted is T here. I wanted it to be on the left hand side. But it is okay. So I have the principal which is 80. The rate, which is 5%, the T is equal to interest. Mm -hmm. I mean, axiom. When you rearrange. Mm -hmm. So in other words, you make T the subject. What answer did you get? Yes. Okay, so there is the working. In the Thank chat, you, Aksam. Madam Javila, in the chat, Christopher yes. also says that time is three years. Uh -huh, very good, Christopher. He tried to discuss for us, but I think the network is giving him a problem. But I'm glad he doesn't give up. At least he has shared in the chat. That's very good. Uh -huh. Anyone else, Mr. Kajimu, at that end of the chat? Not really. 
not really. So I'm just leaving this here for a few more seconds for those who may want to write it down or those who didn't get the answer as three years and you need to make your corrections. There it is for you. So we, we have one more and then we shall get to our exercise where we shall look forward to your answers in the Padlet. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can someone read for us that? Madam Javira, I'm suggesting, yes. I'm suggesting that uh, we we can briefly someone can briefly take us through that so that uh, this time the remaining time we run to the pilot and answer the questions. Yes, we that have... is what I also wanted. We have some at minutes. So, so this is the last example, and I and I share an exercise with them here. Yeah. I think they are busy working out. Okay. So Julian, as others are working out, you unfortunately you're distracting us with your audio video. But just to tell you, today we started on business math. You've missed a very interesting and interactive lesson. The first part was very interesting. But just to bring you on board, we are specifically discussing simple interest. You found when we had uh, discussed the formula, and right now we, we are going through examples, and this is our last example. After this example, then I'll share the exercise, which where well, we shall be waiting for answers at the Padlet. Okay, people, anyone who has worked out and would want to share with us. Birunji says that uh, she's not seeing the questions. Sure. Birunji, we are going through this example, then the questions will come. Ah, yeah, I'm trying to share the questions after this last example. I'm seeing Jeshohaya. I'm just asking that. Yes. Are we going to, you said that you're sending some questions. Are we going to do them on the Zoom or we shall post them at the Padlet? You will post them at the Padlet. Okay. But we shall keep both accounts open. Eh? You, you keep the Zoom account open, and then you also open the Padlet so that we use both. But can you, Josh, Joshua Haya, I hope that is the, the pronunciation. Can you take us through this example for, and then we, you get your exercise. <laughs> yes. I just shy, why are you shy? I cannot shy. Mm -hmm. So take us through. I was just spending some hard time to understand the work. Then why aren't you asking? Yet we are uh, now you're eager to get the questions, yet you're telling me you're not following. I'm just going through my work. Okay, so ask the question. What is disturbing you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me just try what I can do. Hey, uh huh. I can't hear you very well. Find the find the price for the interest of ten thousand in nine years at the rate of. Six percent Anna. Okay, yes. just, so, just so higher. Jesh, yes. let me call you Jesh. What does okay. the 27,000 stand for in your opinion? The simple interest. Very good. What does nine yes. stand for? The years, then the six stands for the percentage, right? Now what is uh -huh. then uh, in the formula? <laughs> okay, then basically here you are finding the principle. Uh huh. Yes, so since you, since you gave us the a method, that is the formula, mm -hmm. the formula whereby simple interest mm. is equals to principal mm -hmm. uh, times rate times time out of the 
the one hundred percent, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, but we are applying that principle. Uh -huh. So we take the twenty the twenty seven thousand shillings mm -hmm. equals to times the rate that is a six out of uh out of the one hundred uh -huh. times the time. Those are nine. Like, since they're already in years, we are not let mm. it in. We shall not put out of the twelve person out of the twelve years. Uh -huh, very good. Mm -hmm. So I have uh -huh. it here on the screen. Only that I started from the twenty-seven. I put I put p this side because okay. it's the one I want. Mm -hmm. So when you okay. calculate, what do you get? I'm working it out. So uh -huh. we get the p times. So you shall have to divide. Mm -hmm. The six out of the one hundred into mm -hmm. a simple form. Mm -hmm. You do it your way and give me the final answer. I'm giving you some few seconds to complete the number. Okay. I can see the chat is busy with the answers, but I want to share some of the. Yes. Julian, why are you saying something? Yeah, I'm not uh -huh. able to get the question. You are not seeing the question. It, it, you have seen it. Number four. Yes. Okay. Jesh, are you through? Yes. Yes, she's still calculating. Teacher, I'm still yes. calculating. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm patient. I'm a patient teacher. Okay. Mm. Jesh, do you have an answer for me? No, I'm still calculating. That is not good, Jesh. <laughs> okay, maybe we can get that. At least your working is correct. Maybe I can get an answer for you. Uh, yes. Uh, when, when, when I was working on, mm -hmm. so I got the B times out of 100 times nine is equal to the 27,000 shillings, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I just converted it to. So I got it then 0 0.06 times. Mm -hmm. the, 0 0.06. What did you get nine times six again? I got P then 0 0.06. I just converted it to a decimal, right? Then is first, it, first wait, Jesh, first wait. Yes. What is nine times six? 50. Yes. What is nine it's times six? 54. 54, uh-huh. So when you divide yeah. through by 100, you get 0 0.54. Yeah. Uh huh. Now, when you divide through by zero point five four, what is our final answer? Just use a calculator there. Okay, let me, let me, go, let me go look for my calculator. Hey, okay, as you look for it, you just confirm the answer. <laughs> okay, someone from the chat, what answers are we getting? I have Sarah. Fifty thousand. Sarah, 50,000, Navira, 50,000, 50, Alvin, 50,000. 50, okay, let me check my answer also. As, uh, as Jesh is looking for his calculator, he came to the lesson without one. Okay, there we have it. 50,000. Yes, use your phone to just confirm your answer. I really want you to get that answer. As Jesh is getting confirming his answer, 
I wish to tell you that. Thank you for your uh, teacher. Yes. <laughs> it gave me 50. Very good, Jess. Now you see you are, you are shy about sharing and yet you've got that correct answer. So next time we are having a lesson or any other lesson, I want you to be very active also. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. So thank you for your very, very active participation. I'm going to stop sharing this and then I get, I go straight away to our questions. Where are my questions? Here. There you have the question. So like I earlier mentioned, you do number one, post it in the, in the family. Okay, there are only five. If time allows, we can, we shall go through all of them. But even if we go through two and we manage to utilize the Padlet very well, that will be, I'll be very happy with that. So on to the work. Julian, kindly mute. Julian, kindly yes. mute. Please mute. Thank you.
Yes, Julian. Julian. Okay, I'm seeing some answers in the Padlet. Julian, you had something to say. Your hand is up. Yeah, how can I put those answers on the planet? Okay, for the sake of Julian, let me stop sharing the questions. And then I get to the Padlet. Julian, I'm going to share the forum where we are sharing. She have gotten the questions, but how can I? Yes, Julian, are you seeing my screen now? Yes. Uh -huh, this is called a Padlet. If you're seeing in math here, the first yes. home, Alvin has already posted something here. Okay. Number two. So you go to padlet.com. It was shared in the chat. Yes. P -A -D -L -E -T .com. They, they shared the link to this page actually. So click there. And when you get there, you go to this plus sign. Mm. Click here. The problem you've not yet registered. Maybe you register after this lesson. For the sake of this lesson, you click here, the plus. And then it will bring an interface. Subject, you put math. Please don't forget to put subject here because there are many subjects here, as you can see. So you put subject, then you upload. Whether a picture, I think it will be a picture in that case. Is that OK? Just follow prompts there. I know you, you're bright enough to do that. OK. So maybe I would want to, I'm seeing Alvin here has shared. This is Alvin's work for number two. Uh -huh. Find the amount to which 60,000 accumulates. Alvin. Um, Okay, 15%. Okay, I'm the one who made a mistake here. I've seen my mistake. I was wondering where you got your answers from. So that is correct. Alvin's work is correct for number two. Let me see some other. Uh, Linda, Linda Buguzi. This is number one. Find the simple interest on 96 for 10 months at a rate of that. So she substituted, she wanted interest. The principal is 96, the rate is there. And the time she has ably put it in, uh, in, in years. So it is 10 out of 12. And indeed the interest is 6,666.67, good. Okay, let me look for another number. Okay, so far on because ones have handed in. Okay, I hope the rest are, are, are seen. Please go to this, take a photo mm -hmm. of your work. Get, go to this plus sign, type here mark. Otherwise, it may get lost into another subject where you're seeing subject, put math. Um, then I think you will go for an option of a photo. You take a photo. After you've done everything, then you publish at this point. So when you publish, you shall be able to see your work. I'm seeing Linda Vuguzi again with another number. I think that was number, this is number two. She has the same answer as Alvin, and which I already confirmed. Yes, it's a correct answer. Okay. We have five minutes to the end. Let me stop sharing here for a while. 
Julian, you still have your hand up. I can see some people have dropped off. We now have only 23 participants. I'm hoping much as maybe you've not managed to get to the Padlet yet, at least you've managed to work out those numbers. I will post the, yes, Fatih. Fatih, please go ahead and say something. Madam, I'm requesting you to please put back the questions on the screen. On the screen. I'll still call. Okay, let me see. Okay, the questions are there. Sarah? Thank you for confusion how to hand in my work. Have you, have you gone to, have you clicked on the link you are given in the chat, padlet.com? P-A-D-L-E-T.com. It, it was put in the chat. Have okay, you seen it? Stop. Yes. When you click on it, it will take you to the other page I've been showing you. Mr. Kajimu, are you there? Yes, I am. Uh, would you want to say something? We have only two minutes to the end. I'm encouraging, please go ahead, do the work first. We shall, we shall visit the Padlet later and probably comment on your work. Mr. Kajimu, anything you want to say to the students? No, not much. I want to thank them for loving their work. Mm. Uh, please go ahead and try the exercises. I want to encourage you to do so. And uh, post your work so that we can also get a chance to see uh, what what you, you went through, how you took it. And uh, I'm looking at, be keen on the questions. Uh, we were guided by the teacher well when they told us, let us identify the figures that we are given. Uh, according to the figure given, what is it? Is it the principal? Is it the interest? What does the question require? How is the, um, uh, uh, the time given? There are small, small things that you, you need to take care of. And uh, uh, then you can go through your calculations with the care. And I'm sure you will get to the answers correctly. Otherwise, thank you very much uh, for attending. And please come again. We shall wait for you. Thank you, Madam Javira. Okay, thank you so much, yeah, Mr. Kajimu, my co-teacher. I don't know about you, but for me, I've really enjoyed the lesson. Thank you students for being very active. Those that decided to be in Kamoli, at least you are uh, posting in the chat. So I want to challenge you. If you did not raise up your hand, neither did you post in the chat. Next time, whether it is math or physics, it's healthy to be active in the lessons, very, very healthy. You may think you have the correct answer, you keep with it, but when you post in the chat and it is not correct, then you, you can be corrected, or even if it is correct, it is very okay. So practice, Fatih, your hand is persistently up. As we wind up. Madam, no problem. Ah, okay. Maybe you can give us a closing prayer. Me? Yes. <laughs> okay, let's have ourselves for our day prayer. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for the gift of life. I thank you for the soul that we have. I want to thank you that our teachers have been present and for those who do not manage to be present. May you please help them be present the next time. We thank you for all that we've understood and we pray the next time we understand. I pray that you protect us after our lessons. I pray then believe. Amen. Okay, just something small that I, I forgot to mention. 
Now this the the scenario I gave you was was not just for fun here in the lesson. We still have some some few weeks at home. Please, you can think of a business plan. I'm quite sure if you present it to your guardians or your parents, they would be they would be willing. If it is not the capital is not too much, they would be willing. So when you're not in a lesson like this, when you're not maybe attending lessons in the morning, you can use your free time to attend to your small business instead of uh, being in groups, uh, doing other funny things like drugs and the rest. So our time, we can positively utilize our time to do things that bring us in. Some people here at the beginning told us they're selling soap, they're selling pancakes, and they, they've told us they're making profits. So we start small, by the time we finish school, we shall be gurus, or we shall have all the skills we need to, to keep the business. Someone mentioned she, she got losses and profits, but the profits outweighed the losses, which is very good. So I want to challenge you and encourage you, think of something think of something, especially in the line of your passion, and start something. Um, have a nice evening. You can live at will. Thank you again for your part uh, active participation. Bye-bye. Thank you for the lesson. Bye. Thank you for teaching us. You're welcome. If I can put on my video and wait. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Come again next time. Bring a friend in the next lesson. Okay. <laughs> yes. I'm also going to learn statistics uh, variations. Sorry. Variation. Mm -hmm. You want to learn about variations of fixed your point now. I'll give your view to the organizers. I was saying I've just discovered that I'm the host of the meeting. I didn't know I had got those rights, but now that I have them, allow me to end the meeting officially. Thank you so much, Mr. Kajimi, my co-host. Madam Chair.